Billions of federal dollars are being awarded to clean energy projects across the country, and Illinois is set to see a big chunk of it. So where is the money and what's it doing here? Our Tara Molina is on Climate Watch and found first of its kind work that's happening right here in Chicago, operating with those funds. This is Nanograph, and this is what they call the most energy dense battery on the planet. They're working on this every day here in West Town. Federal dollars making the difference. We're transforming the Rust Belt into the Battery Belt. It's a transformation happening right here in Chicago's West Town neighborhood. Pull up some data. Where Nanograph is testing and creating materials for lithium ion batteries. Batteries provide a way of getting off of previous fuel and energy sources that were used, you know, primarily fossil fuel sources. Eventually, they'll produce some here too. Testing new recipes every single day for our material. And this year has been a breakout year for us. CEO Francis Wang walking us through what makes them different and why it's making a difference. And there's this clean energy transition, which is oh so important. Right now, they're doing work for the Department of Defense, since their batteries are lighter and more powerful than what the military was using before. Our batteries make these um, radios lighter. But that's not all. Nanograph just awarded a $60 million grant under the bipartisan infrastructure law to stand up a battery material facility for electric vehicles in Flint, Michigan, set to create 200 construction jobs and 150 permanent jobs. They're also set to benefit from Inflation Reduction Act funding. That's 2.6 billion federal dollars spread across seven projects. The state estimating at least 2,700 jobs will be created. We're fast at work already in terms of figuring out how do we best use those funds. Because transforming the rust belt into the battery belt. Decreasing our dependence on oil is really important means big goals here in West Town for their batteries and battery components. And the big hope and dream is to have that in an electric vehicle and extend electric vehicle range by 20, 30 percent. We put more information on the federal funding at work here right now and the clean energy investments across Illinois in the story you'll find on our website right now. Reporting at Nanograph in West Town, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News, Chicago. Tara, thank you. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, the story of one congressman who did not support climate legislation before, but is now excited about the new green jobs and the investment happening in his district. What changed his mind in tonight's Eye on America?